Well, hello, Rennie Mae. Hey there, Daphne. How are you? I'm just delightful. Well, good. So am I. <laughs> I see a pregnant lady. Yeah, it's about time. It's about time. That makes the scans about right. We're at the strums. Oh, isn't this a lovely room? I love the blues and the purples and the gray all together. This isn't the dining room, though, is it? No, it's kind of like a, a wreck area, I suppose you'd say, that had a oh, cupcake factory in there, and they put some counters up, and there's an ice cream maker, and a fireplace, and you know, they put the Christmas tree in there and when the holidays come. And, Whoa, that's lovely. Well, yeah, they, they like I said before, these people was loaded. <laughs> and uh, they had all kinds of good things at their house. They just, they lived well, you know. They wanted to enjoy life. Huh. Now, this is Candy Apple and Cletus Lyle, listen to it. Yep, that's right. That's my, my uh, maternal grandparents. That's correct. And they, of course, <clears throat> excuse me, of course they was music lovers, just like all of us humbuckers and strums are. <laughs> and so, oh, Clemency is pregnant with you? Well, no, she ain't. Uh, I mean, it, uh, assuming this is accurate, it would be my brother Hank. I got an older brother. You do? I had no idea. You've been holding out. How long have I known you and you've never mentioned him? <laughs> well, it's kind of a long, sad story. <laughs> Hank uh, didn't turn out so good. He's been in and out of uh, prison. So uh, we don't really... We just hope the best for him, you know. Oh, dear. That's dreadful. Well, yeah, my aunt was serious. She's kind of messed up. And she uh, kind of influenced him. Kind of poisoned his mind. Against the rest of us, and well, it's just it's a long, sad story. So, but yeah, this would be Hank's birth. But um, he was adorable as a child. It's just as an adult, he got real messed up. Uh, well, that's such a shame. I hope things will get better. He's alive and well, I assume. Well, uh, he's alive. <laughs> I hope he's well. Uh, we, you know, we just don't really. We don't really communicate anymore, which seems to be the best thing. He just, uh, he's just got some things to learn still. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Well, isn't this a pretty room, though? I've got, they've got the tree up now, haven't they? So, obviously, it's December sometime. Yeah, I always like that Christmas tree. So pretty. And then they put the presents down under it of course it oh it just looks so nice and you know I like that they got a kind of silver and blue to go with the room instead of the you know the red and green is pretty but it clashes sometimes so it's nice that they can find a tree that kind of still look Christmassy but it didn't clash with the the decor huh. yes huh. precisely yes <laughs> I know it's a bit annoying when you're uh, you've got to decorate for the holidays, and you've got a room that just doesn't uh, have any of the holiday colors in it. Yeah, well, I see, they got the silver, the silver and the grays, nice, and the blue, and yeah, it's just real, real pretty. Your mother is such a lovely lady, isn't she pretty? Well, thank you. I thought she, I always thought she was real beautiful. Of course, I was a little biased. <laughs> well, your your maternal grandfather is very attractive. He actually he reminds me a bit of um, Horatio Newbold. You know, I hadn't think thought of that. I have to. To look at that next time I see them together, if there's some wedding or something to see, if you know if they're what's going on. Yes, uh, there'll be a wedding. I assume eventually John and Minerva will be marrying, and 
Well, we can certainly replay these videos. I think we... I really would like to do that. Yeah, I'd like it if we all got together and, and watched all our videos together. Because we could compare notes and you wouldn't be the only one who knows who the heck everybody is. <laughs> oh, it's so much fun, especially at the weddings when they're all come round from all different corners of the neighborhood and people that are friends with one family and they've just all come, come together. Although I must say Nanette's parents' wedding was rather unhappy because there was a, a big fight. Uh, well, that's no good. Yes, there was a fight between uh, Clemency, actually. I think, yes, Clemency had a bit of a shouting match with uh, Cecilia's father, Lars Anderson. Well, that sounds like a strum there. They're real hot-headed. <laughs> Well, it turned out all right in the end. She does look about ready. She looks about ready now. Heading off to hospital. To have Hank. I assume that's Homer Henry? Yeah, Homer Henry Humbucker the third. That's correct. <laughs> it's such a great name. <laughs> it certainly is. And of course, the first Homer is the best home, if you ask me. Certainly no offense to your father. Oh, well then, congratulations to you all, the happy Humbucker family. Well, thank you. Hey, would you like some hot cocoa? Oh, that sounds delightful. I'm getting a little tired of tea. Yes, thank you, wonderful. All right, I will go serve it up. Very good.